What's going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and today I'm going to show you how you can export your game from the Godot engine to your Windows PC. Now as you can see here I have a very basic scene in Godot 4. I'm using compatibility but this export will work with any of the rendering engines or the end the forward renderer, the mobile renderer, and the compatibility renderer will all work with uh, this method. So this is the game. It's a simple click to get number game. It's simple. It just, your game could be as complex as it wants, but I just thought I'd make something simple for the demonstration. So you can see here, that is the game. So the first thing we want to do is go to editor, and you're going to want to go to manage export templates. Now, Godot doesn't actually install all its um, templates by default. You do it manually when you're ready to do so. So what we want to do is you can select any of these to actually download this. It doesn't matter which one you select. However, some of them may be faster than the others. Uh, with my experience, the GitHub has been the fastest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click download and install. And this is going to download all of this. As you can see, it's, it's 300 megabytes there. And... It doesn't take too long to download, obviously depending on your internet speeds. Now that's installed, you'll see here, it tells you your current version. It even shows you where it is installed to. And if for some reason it's you've got any issues, you can uninstall it as well and try and reinstall it yourself. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close this down. The next step is to go to your project and go to export. Now in the export section, what we wanna do is add a Windows desktop build. Now you can use the universal Windows product. I don't know what the P stands for in this. Um, however, this is for um, like uh, for the Windows marketplace or the Xbox marketplace style of exports. We don't necessarily need that. So I'm gonna select Windows desktop here. Now the name doesn't matter, this is just what you want. If you want different vari vari uh, variations like a low, uh, a, you know, an, a debug version, stuff like that, you can set that up, um, but I'm not gonna use that. So here you can see the export console wrapper as well, the first options here, ignoring the debug and release templates. And I'm just gonna select this as no, cause I don't need the console. The console is what pops up at the bottom like down here. So if you need to test it or whatnot, you can do that. The next thing is the embed pck file i always check this on because it means it will embed this file into the exe so you don't have multiple files you have to worry about and for the rest of these this is actually more up to you what you do you can actually change the file version the product version name and all of these here so we can set this to oh, for version 1.0.0 uh same with the file um, and then we can give it the company name. So for me, this could be Muddy Wolf Studios and the game name is just Tap Game or something similar like this. You could give a file description, copyright, trademarks, anything you need to include in this. Uh, and then the rest of this is all fine. Now you've got some other things here and you'll see there is a warning at the bottom saying if you wanna swap the icon for the game, you need to use the RC editor where you need to configure the editor in the editor settings. We don't need to change the icon in this, but if you do wanna do that, you can follow this path and just sell it up there it's pretty simple and finally to actually export it all we hear is export project we choose a location and i'm going to export this without the debug um, and i'm create a new folder and i'm just going to call this builds now inside of builds i could just hit save this will export you'll see it comes up here it just tells you rc edits again you just need to configure that once that's done we can open up our project folder game development and we have our tap game and builds and you'll see a tap game.exe now if we launch this you'll see it runs perfectly fine and you can distribute this wherever you want steam or even on the web on itch.io any of this here you can go and deploy so people can download it and play your game obviously i've set it up so it can be full screen as well and there you go it's as simple as that so guys thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one peace out.